Apart from that? Uh, so for me, I think it just came down to doing like past papers and stuff. Um, so just kind of maybe one a week, perhaps. I think that's what. Yeah, I did one a week. Um, mm -hmm. Making sure that you go over where you get them wrong is also quite important. So time, yeah, so I'd say time conditions um, because you want to know that you can actually solve a decent amount of problems in the time you have for the real exam. Um, but then also really important with math, but also kind of any sort of maths you do is that. When you've done it, you really need to look over where you've gone wrong as well, because that will kind of pick up uh, parts where you, perhaps you don't understand what's going on as well. Mm -hmm. So always, or, always looking at your errors and making. Or if there's bits that you need to justify more that they wanted, but like you didn't, mm -hmm. if you assume stuff. Yeah. yeah. I, I wrote a list of all the questions I found difficult, and then I went over them at the end, like nearer to the exam, and then I did all the past papers and the time conditions apart from. The specimen papers, I did them before, like relax, just to see the start of the papers to kind of know what I was expecting before I started. Uh, them. And just kind of for any sort of maths exam, it's quite good to have some other source of maybe problems. So you might you might look at like UKMT stuff or yeah. just that sort of like thinking outside the box stuff is quite good for aptitude mm. tests uh, or even looking at maybe a few step problems can help as well. Yeah. Also, like make sure you know um, your A level stuff really really well. Like yeah, C one and C two. Yeah, yeah, you need to be able to like remember all of that, and also like sort of um, like identities and like sign and cause values and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah.